gonna get rid of her. Yeah. Uh. Malcolm, Malcolm, Huey, Huey, Bobby, Bobby, Seal, Seal, Ella, Ella, Baker, Baker, Emmett, Emmett, Teal, Teal. When I leave, you remember know what I said? When the last words on my lips, I Oh, what's up? Where my nephew at? Bro. Where my brother? Nephew? Good. Why are you bleeding? Brother, it's going. You alright? You hurt? No, I'm good, I'm, but I'm not good. What's going on? August, the, yo, the police, the pigs came, rushed our crib, August stayed there. He, you already know why he stayed there, because he had the whole me and Lil Oakland so we could fucking... The pigs killed my brother? Your brother is gone, like my I blood said. My brother? Your brother is gone. They still I at got, your house? They still at your house? I, I don't know, but I, they looking for me. Yeah, I assemble the team. I gotta leave this country, bro. I got to get the fuck up out of here. I yeah. got to go. We'll make a call. Bro, I got to go. Dead ass was like, I need to go leave this country. Now, like, for real, help me. Some money, some clothes. Bro. Run. Really? You going like, to the bathroom to the dress. Change up. Bro, yo, I love you. Bro, I love gotcha. you, yo. I, I gotta get up. I, I gotta get out of here. Give me that. Give me that. Yeah. Take that. I gotta go to the bathroom and switch up. Yeah. Okay. So look, I made some calls. We're gonna go to Shirley Chisholm Circle by Browder Park. It's gonna be a black car. They're gonna pick you up. And they're gonna take you out of here. Yeah, bro. Good looking. We're gonna be okay. I got it. Hold my son down, people. Please, bro. Love you. Love you too, sis. Love you. I swear to God. Take care of my son. Right, I got you. Please make sure he could. Please. Love you, bro. Got a male on with a 9mm. Please use extreme caution. This is actually the United States Postal Service. Yes, we actually delivered a certified mail letter to you yesterday. Something from the IRS. We just want to make sure that you got it. That is wonderful. Oh, you have a wonderful life. The bullet to the ballot. Gang, 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 gang. Catch me with a bunch of crips and a bunch of bloods. Yeah, black love. I be with a bunch of crips and a bunch of bloods. But we back together for that black love. Gang, 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 love. 
my brothers, love my sisters, the system we spinning, the opposition. Woke up feeling hot, hot. When the bro got pop, pop. Buy a dirty ass cop, cop. Time to let it go, flop. I ain't riding against my niggas. Nah, I'm riding against the system. No more kids and mom's crying, nope. screaming out they miss them. After my father was killed, my mother fleeing the country, and multiple officers dead. My uncle hid me in plain sight. I was taught the teachings of Malcolm X, Dr. Khaled Muhammad, and Fred Hampton. Freedom wasn't won nor taken on a ballot floor. It was always settled on a battlefield. My generation will be the Malcolm X's, Fred Hampton's, Khaled Muhammad's of today. We shall render black justice against all who have committed crimes against our people from past to present. They can kill one messiah, but they can't kill a thousand. We are facts, freedom, and emancipation by any means necessary. We are the black people's offensive army. Well, let me just say, my childhood goals was to become a lawyer to balance the scale of justice for our people. From being a shy public defender to being hired as the first black female lawyer to a firm in corporate, so when I tell you, I'm thinking I'm the face for justice for my people. I find out the company is leading you to believe their mission is to give low cost legal help to black folks, but they making them take plea deals. I was fired and cited as an angry black woman in the law community. I was livid in this truck. So I have a pro nationalist group that I feel would ben you would benefit from. Would you be interested? I can read a statement that Brother Huey P. Newton wrote yesterday when I saw him in jail. He says, as the racist police escalate the war in our communities against black people, we reserve the right to self-defense and maximum retaliation. Understand this concept. Understand this concept. When they all Brother Malcolm, we did nothing. If they off Brother Huey, we got to retaliate. We got to retaliate. We must retaliate. We must fight for humanity. It is our humanity that is at stake. You think you want to part with that? Five minutes, bro. You know that clothes require. I'm gonna sound like a queen. True, true, true. I got you. I got you. Check that out. Just got blessed by House of Skills. You know, this is dope. I'm definitely gonna find a job now. You look like money, you make money. That's a fact. That's a fact. You cut here? Yeah, I cut both two here and let me tell you that's about it. Oh, where, where? All right, so um, if you looking for something to do, you could come. I mean, come check me out. Here at House of Skills, we try to do our part to not only empower the people spiritually but economically. You know? Yeah, that's the sun. I'm gonna get strong and I'm a better than you. But I'm gonna come back. Don't forget me. Nah, I ain't gonna forget you. I'm Wheezy, man. Whenever you get a chance, just come through, chop it up with me, and then I got you. All right. You know we gotta take care of our own. Alright man, enjoy your day. Hello Deshaun, I am Audrey, your civil rights crime victims therapist. I just want to give you a little bit of information about myself, okay? Um, so I've been a part of many public and non-public distinguished pro-black organizations. Would you give, want to give me some information about you? No. Okay, no problem. It's perfectly fine. Well, let's just get started. Um, I have your file here and it says you were in the military listed as the special skills remote explosive device expert. Well, honestly, I have visions that I can't get out of my head. 
and then something triggers it, it depresses me. I was a part of the RET remote explosive team stationed in Kabul, Afghanistan. I was the best they ever seen and I excelled in remote detonators where you could detonate it from a mile away. It was supposed to only be for United States bomb purposes only. Don't blame yourself, Deshaun, for the level of treachery displayed by these evil people throughout history. History shows that they cause death and destruction wherever they go. Did you report your findings? Yes, I did, and I was humiliated. I lost my friends, my family, my career. I lost everything. And after all that work I did, I was left with a dishonorable discharge on my record. Interesting. If you can get payback to those who wronged you without consequence, what would you do? Make the best C4 I could ever think of. All of them treat them all how they treated them innocent people. Interesting. Today, today, today. And so in talking about Brother Huey Newton tonight, we have to talk about the survival of our people. Many of us feel, many of our generation feel, that they're getting ready to commit genocide against us. The blood of Malcolm in my veins, cause of Cali Muhammad's wild bang. Uh, Gaddafi's playing chess with him, but the crackers made Obama get the best of him. The second coming of Garvey, kill anybody that harmed thee. We coming for our respect, nigga. I'm not turning with a tech, nigga. AK in the Louis. Oh, good. Grand Rise of Diggs. Blue Liberation's upon us, man. It's gonna be one hell of a ride, baby. I believe that, my brother. I got the electric green groups right here. I don't know if those are the right ones, but if they are, I make a call, they come by the dozen. You got C4 and all that? You know how to use that? No. But soon, we'll have somebody who does. I tapped in with all the cities, all our members, all our cells, and everybody's on cold waiting for our response. After today digs, our lives will never be the same again. But we play our cards right, we remain hidden in plain sight. I got everything lined up for all the cities, everywhere, flat iron buildings. Everything. That's the shit that we plan for. Making big noises to all agencies. You seen what happened to Ma Malcolm and Martin and everybody else that came after them. Diggs, don't talk that fucking scary Negro shit, man. You took an oath. You ain't tired of them killing us in the street? You ain't tired of them killing us in the hospital? And ain't shit happening? We didn't know Bobby Seals, the new Malcolm X's Cali Muhammad's, man. They started this shit and we gonna finish this. We no longer the hunted, Diggs. We the hunters. See, we ain't worried about them coming for us. So we gonna come for them. They all gotta go home to regular homes, regular house, like everybody else. It's a new day. Well put. For our freedom and by any means necessary. I wanna apologize to you because I don't want you to think that I'm doubting the mission. I feel you, man. I'm just surprised that our people finally broke up and realized. You need to exterminate the fucking devil so we can live in peace. And that's what we do. You took an oath, and we're going to live, and we're going to die by it. Everything we do, keep our ears, and we keep our mouths shut. With that being said, let me get back to work. But I'm here. i see you in a few. I'll call you. All right? I'm sorry I'm late to you. The police pulled me over. I'm late to the court. 
Don't worry about it, never fear. You got a black mechanical engineer. Everything is done, smart, black, and clever. Tell me what you need. My engine light is on, and it's making noise off and on. I need to be saved. All right, let me take a look at the car, and I'll come back. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you great. I checked your car engine and your car's computer brain. And I did some brain surgery. I reset it and everything. Tighten up the free ones too. Now boom, you Gucci. How much I owe you? Man, send me 25 to black coin. We good. Seen flashy things, no hair in there. It's like a secret of some crap. I'm third generation cop in my family, so I got a little insight. Third? So it's three of you fucks. I'm just kidding, man. Listen, I started like you. Now I'm special agent. I run these streets out here. I'm making money on and off the books. We run the shit like they used to run the plantations back in the days. It's an art to it. I'm sure now we do this. You know, I, I pretty much got skipped to detective. My dad made a call, and boom, I'm here. He's part of the Legion of Doom. Some copy. Same thing. As well, I've been on the force five years. This shit is a lifestyle. I love this shit, man. I gotta thank my ancestors for this shit, man. In which way? Uh, long days and donuts? <laughs> really, you freaking out on me. It started with our ancestors. With our great great grandparents on the plantations. How do I get in? How did you get in? I had to take one of the mounts to prove my loyalty. We keep the jails full, the mayor's happy, the governor's good, and we get rich. It's all too. Cop, let's rock and roll. Let's do it. Yo, Vaughn, what's good, boy? YGB for life, what's good, my G's? Yo, listen, boy, listen, listen. I'm out here putting in this pain. You know we live and die by this shit. I'm putting on for the game. Yo, fuck all that, fuck all that. You in there and I'm out here. And listen, I got the juice now, and these people love me out here. Feeling like Bumpy Johnson, my nigga, and all that. But listen, you be safe and shit like that. I'ma holler at you, OGB for life, you already. Alright, one. It's payday, Faith. So where's that? You sure about that? I don't have nothing. What you mean you ain't got nothing? I make the rings on here. You wanna stay out of jail? You want the streets to know what's going on out here? Stop fucking playing with me, bro. I killed the dude that was going to testify on that cop. It was a favor for a favor, but mine wasn't satisfied. Why should I pay you? Because I make the rules around here, and again, you want to stay out of jail, so where's my money? It's in the bag down the block. 45K, something.
35 large, and this is all my color. Now it's time for you. Let's go. That's a male right there. OGB member. Go stop him. You know what to do. I'm gonna sit back here and watch. Yeah, I know. Miss Margaret. Nah, you don't have to come out. Right, right. Remember I told you we deliver. Yeah, so you get the meats and you get to play your numbers at the same time. Of course. You've been in our database for years. Right, I got you, I got you. We'll see you soon. Good, bro. Yo, what we gonna go digital with these numbers, man? I mean, these apartments, right? Hundreds of numbers. Box, box, straight, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. Every crib. Yo, Kool-Aid, listen. I spoke to Spoon, and he's working on it right now. Right. Our main concern is the government, bro. You know the number game originated in Harlem, right? Right. But it's like anything that we have, they deem it to be criminal. But yet, they got the New York State Lottery. Right. That's why we move hand in hand, man. So we don't leave no digital footprint. No trace or no hacking. That's a fact, bro. Because a lot of Dominican spots still playing numbers till it's dead. Exactly. Right. And soon we're going to have citywide distribution that'll make more jobs for our people, bro. Official. But yo, let me run in here a quick time. All right. I'm here. Stop! Listen, what's up, brother? Stop, son. What you doing? <laughs> well, you had you at the cage, huh? Son, I was sitting here minding my fucking business until you come over here minding my. No, I don't, bro. What I'm you the law. You, no, you okay? Not. I don't think hey, no. Oh, my mother! Stop running! I told you stop running, right? Come on. units. Of 187 gang related murder. I repeat, we need all units in coordinate. 187 gang related. Yo, bro, let me ask you something. What's up, cool? We taking white people numbers too? <laughs> Homeboy asked me, he said he fuck with some white boys who got bread, who gamble too. At this point, nah, bro. No hate. Right. But sometimes you gotta keep shit to yourself in order to preserve it. Mm. I mean, that's what black nationalism is. Right. It's about putting on our and only our people first, bro. The thing is, they might not even be evil. But we can't take no chances at all. I respect that. I'm gonna let him know. And I ain't gonna mention it to nobody either, bro. Yo, cool, I gotta go. Make sure you take care of Miss Marvin. Definitely, bro. Stay dangerous. All right. Yeah, Tony Zimmerman. You want to talk? You got to talk to me. You can't talk to me. The old gun. The target is dead. You go. You got to see him. You got to see Zimmerman. I'm going to get him on three. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. The follow up. Take him somewhere more quiet. Go! 
Let me kill him. Let me no, kill him. No, I got him. Huh? That's for Trayvon? Huh? That's for Emmett Till? Huh? Sandra Bland? Trayvon. Thirsty? Then you rest this shit. Hello? Councilman Graham speaking. Councilman Graham. Be a suit. Is it Jaconian? What do you mean? It's Armani. Jaconian means stiff. Cause you're a dead man. Yeah, real tough on the phone. Try me. No justice, no peace. Fuck these racist ass police. If we don't fight back, we, we gonna keep dying in these streets. It's been 60 years since the March on Washington, and we still marching? George Floyd, Kamani Gray, Sean Bell. Man, this shit gotta stop. The KKK is in the hospitals. The disparity is in the deaths of black people. How free are you when a white man called the governor could tell millions of people when to open up and when to shut down. Wake up, black people. This is modern day slavery. The chains are invisible. They create the genocide. The environment is for us to destroy ourselves. So when you go in front of a judge, you tell him, I want America made. I'm a product of y'all genocide. Learn something from the message. I saw you over there listening. Of course. I love to hear honorable men speak. Keep spreading the word. I'm looking at everything you're saying. Oh, yeah, is that so? I'm trying to start a revolution? Oh, yeah? I hope you're firing, though. 
Because I'm going to tell you one thing. Because them white militias, they armed up. And most brothers ain't ready for that kind of smoke. But I'll tell you what, if you are, just be careful. Because all skin folk ain't kin folk. Listen, we no longer the hunted. We're the hunters. Not worry about that. I love the way you think. My Joseph, name is Joe. BJ. How you know my government? Police? I'm Ogun. Look that up. Keep spreading the word though. Yeah. We're gonna meet again soon. I'ma do that. I'm off this though. I holler. It's on, it's on, it's on. We young like and get okay. Chicago. Greetings. Oh, look like you were really into the message, or were you just waiting on me? A little bit of both. I love hearing the brother speak. I was raised with Leo Muhammad, Khalil Muhammad, and they say you can't let a fruit and not the tree where it came from. Those are some powerful brothers. Mission complete. She's dead. And the envelope is all her valuables, bank accounts, credit cards, social security, everything we need. Excellent, Jakarta. You working today though? Yeah, I'm always on the clock. But for the Black Fest, I'm always available. Stay dangerous. What issue brings you here, Joseph? Your profile states that you have anger issues. Nah, I don't have anger issues. They just see that I don't take no shit. If you say do some racist shit, I'm going in your mouth. And really, I'm just here so I don't get a police record. Okay. What inspired you to join the corrections department and go into law enforcement direction? And why do you react so violently when triggered? Listen, man, I'm keeping it a band with you. I only join this shit for the legal gun and the perks. I've been feeling like this since I was a kid. I watched some white officers damn near beat my father to death. And everybody that's black or whatever, just stood around and did nothing. I swore I wasn't gonna never let that be me. My father didn't hit first, so I always strike first. Interesting. Throughout your tenure as law enforcement, did you acquire any special skills, any skills that can be used in the battlefield? I took every free training course they provided. Special weapons tactics, special weapons enhancements, anything that had to do with guns. I gotta be prepared for the uprising because it's coming. Sooner than you think. Ah, uh, Mike Bully. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, fuck it, Mike Bully about to set it off Some niggas gotta join their gang cause they hella soft You a street nigga, never take your weapon off Cause when it's time to ride, nigga, you better let it off This year, niggas dropping like flies, that's why Thank the Lord, every day I'm alive It's 2020, but when it's a lot of people that die COVID-19, ain't keeping nobody inside Supposed to be on lockdown, niggas getting shot down I was a sitting judge over 10 years you know these cops pulled me out my car, beat me, tased me, and handcuffed me, and I still told them I was a judge? After they realized I was a judge, they wanted to apologize. But the DA only gave them, what, six days suspension? If they would've came to my court, I would've gave them necessary justice. But at the same time, if I would've reached for my pistol, in that particular time, it would've been hell to pay. Let me ask you a question. If I give you the opportunity to provide necessary justice, would you go for it? My soul thrives for revenge. Take me back, I make egg a Hoover eat the Mac. I'm the Messiah that they thought was never coming back. Democrat, Republican, that's absurd. Left wing, right wing, same bird. The lesser of two evils, that's your word. How you wanna get killed, shot, or burned? That's all that means. We ain't got no voice. It's a democracy, but we ain't got no choice. Slavery still here. 13th Amendment, AK to the Senator Betty Victor. It's a new regime. Oh, my brother. Yeah, Mars. What are you doing out here? Haven't seen you in a while. New case in the docket? No, right now I'm feeling real shitty right now because them people use another loophole to keep our people in the prisons. Yeah, I know. This mean anything? Everything is in chicken gravy out here. What are you talking about in the courts? Yeah, I'm talking about it. Matter of fact, I can't talk that much because listen, I think my life in danger. I mean, life in death danger. You alright? They don't want no black people's feet in that white court office, man. Yes, I know. We can't talk right now. Stay next to your phone. I'll be in touch. All right, cool. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Kruger. Ogun. Ayana. Ogun. 
And here we have offenders three, four, and five. Officers Milton Brandon, Ted Forrest, and Shane Hamilton. Involved in a no-knock warrant, left a black woman dead and her boyfriend injured and arrested for defending them. No charges were filed against them for harming a black woman. So we will hunt them. It will be justice. So we will vote. Fist in the air for capture. Fist in the air for kill. Then that's what it is. We will converge on them soon. We have another offender. Judge William Shane Parker, a.k.a. Mr. Kids for Cash. Net worth 150 million, 100 million assets, 50 million in cash. Him and his constituents were paid lump sums to get minorities long sentences and prisons built by his friends. Since his exile from the criminal justice system, he still has been benefiting from systematic racism. He's owned companies that sell and contract the prisons for labor. Check this out. Check him out. Yeah. He looks so fishy to me. <laughs> Tell baby doodle so I kill him with my bare hands. And if we don't get no justice, there ain't gonna be no damn peace. That's the bottom line. Across the country, this is not a good cop versus bad cop situation. This is Ahmaud Arbery being shot down by white men on the streets of Georgia. Breonna Taylor being killed in her home. This is in New York City where we were until freedom. We were just in New York fighting the police officers who in the name of social distancing were damn near killing black young people on our streets. This is a coordinated activity happening across this nation. And so we are in a state of emergency. Black people are dying in a state of emergency. We cannot look at this as an isolated incident. The reason why buildings are burning are not just for our brother George Floyd. We're, they're burning down because people here in Minnesota are saying to people in New York, to people in California, to people in Memphis, to people all across this nation, enough is enough. And we are not responsible for the mental illness that has been inflicted upon our people by the American government, institutions, and those people who are in positions of power. I don't give a damn if they burn down Target. Charge all the cops, not just some of them, not just here in Minneapolis, charge them in every city across America where our people are being murdered. Charge them everywhere. That's the bottom line. Charge the cops. Do your job. Do what you say this country is supposed to be about, the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people, and we are tired. Don't talk to us about looting. Y'all are the looters. America has looted black people. America looted the Native Americans when they first came here. So looting is what you do. We learned it from you. We learned violence from you. That's right, we sister. Talk to him. Yeah, that attorney general, he has to be put on target list. I don't care if he's black. That's what makes it worse. There's no way they served a no knock warrant, killed that black woman, <laughs> and he ain't filed no charges. I tell you what though, they ain't found no three cops bodies yet. I told you, without a body, it's not a murder. But we need his ass. We got the cops. Now it's time for his ass to become justice. Show him what it feels like to be captured. Put him on the list. We take a trip to a city. Mayafa. Copy. Power to the people. Should have charged the cops right, brother man. Now you got to see us face to face. Good morning, 
y'all at? Praise to the Most High. When am I going home? Raymond, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, sweetie. They're not trying to let you leave. It's been a situation with the Attorney General. They filed a motion to stop your pretrial release. So they're trying to overturn the court's decision. What do you mean they're not letting me leave? I thought you would get the conviction overturned so I would get bailed to my new trial. Now I gotta sit in this plantation. I know, Rayvon, it is frustrating, but dealing with this court system, there's gonna be some pushback, but don't you worry. I got some serious people on your side. Somebody must have cared, because me and my sister couldn't afford you. My organization was built to help young men and adults like you. This conviction is still overturned upon resentencing or a new trial. The Attorney General appealed the court's decision to let you free. I didn't do shit. This is crazy. How you killed my friend and charged me? This is beyond me. Am I going to be in here for life? I didn't even kill you. Am I going to die in here? The accomplice law was created to keep the black man behind bars, aka no man free. In a situation where the conspirator is dead and is one alive, they want a black man in jail regardless if they did the murder or not. So what's the plans now? Well, the higher court's job is to see if the Attorney General has any grounds to keep you in jail or set you free upon making a decision on the case. I'm going to file a motion with the courts and I have some politicians on my side. Trust me, I won't stop until you're going free. Please don't. I'll be back to visit you soon. I love you, my brother. Love and peace, my sister. Logan, I just left Rayvon and it's not looking good. Mm. We're gonna need more resources to let him free. I figured that, Charlotte. I'm gonna get Ayan to assist you. They appealed the decision? You know I would love to choke the Attorney General's head right now. I spoke with Audrey's activist. It's gonna need representation. Good. I still need to create the nonprofit organization. Have a million dollars for bail and brother's lawyer's needs. You must free the men immediately. And we definitely need Mamiya and Matusha to call free by any means. Even if it means popping the locks ourselves. No problem. I gotta go. I got tons of work to do. Stay dangerous. I'll contact you. You got me in here for you got me locked up. Listen, motherfucker, I'm not here for no fucking pity party. I got you in here, and I could get you out. That life off is still standing. But if you cooperate, I promise to get you out on the pill. You serious? You really serious right now? You sold us mad guns, used our conversation against us, and like if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be locked up. Who side you on? Ain't you supposed to be black? Listen, motherfucker, I'm on the side that's most likely going to win. Listen, we do all want the cheese, right? But it's either you be a cat and chase, or you be a rat and get fucking chase. So I'm getting two choices. Either you cooperate, or you do life. I'm not even saying nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. I don't even trust you. You the type of nigga that got Malcolm X killed, Brad Hampton killed. And besides, my lawyer told me I would get some phone calls. I gotta take this meeting with you. Can I get one? Of course. I need to know you'll be in jail. Hey, Rayvon. I miss you, little bro. Oh, D. Yeah, that's me, sis. <clears throat> I miss you, too. How are you? 
They didn't write in it either. Especially the news that I got. What's going on now? This is. Take a deep breath. Your friend Lamel, he got killed the other day. My boy? I just spoke to him. The streets killed him? It's deeper than that, bro. The system wants you guys going one way or another. I can't take this. Two more trauma. I think I'm a snap, sis. I love you, bro. Stay strong. Yeah. Mommy raised you to be strong. And plus, the lawyer doing all she can. I believe she's gonna get you out. I love you, sis. I'm gonna talk to you later. Stay up. I preached at home. I don't think nobody's here. The judge isn't here. He might be at his office. What you want me to do next? Use the C4, but leave the stove on and throw them off. I have the C4. But how the hell do I use this shit? I don't want to be a deep fried nigga. It's not hard. I got you. You just have to listen to everything I tell you. And Zinga, I'll do whatever you say. I got you. You have to connect the wires first to make sure that the device is activated. Tie the other two together and leave some of the wire out. The wire you leave out, you stick it in the C4. Once it's connected, stick it in the stove and go.
Siobhan Reed. I'm reporting here live on the scene of a suspected arson case. The house behind me recently went up in a blaze. Neighbors are saying the explosion was so intense that it woke up the entire block. What's unique about this specific residence is that it is registered to former judge William Parker, recently convicted and released on charges of bribery, suspected specifically of taking cash to fill prisons with minority youth. Reports are showing that no one was home during the explosion and an investigation is underway. I'm Siobhan Reed, reporting live. They can do anything they want to do. That's right. And the people are going to have to attack the bees. The people are going to have to stand up against the bees. We don't care what anybody says. Well, they have guns and not badges or 18 uniforms. Get whatever they step outside the bounds. The situation on the scene is very intense. We have two officers in a gun-to-gun standoff, which I'm hoping can be resolved peacefully or to increase racial tension. Right now, I'm praying for my city. For those of you just tuning in, this is a situation I've... Never harm black folks again. Be smarter than that. Hey Chief. Hello. I'm gonna go meet with Sims now. If you want, I can take him out, but I figure let me have a talk with him first. Copy. Yo, what's up, kid? You alright? You don't look like you've been getting any sleep. But you just wake you up. What's this for? That's for your work. The guys high up sent you a welcoming package. You in now. But yo, that's your first murder, man. Don't get soft on me now. It's us against them. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you know, I was a little shaken up. Um, had a couple of bad dreams and stuff, but I guess I was just going through the emotions. I guess that's what comes with taking a life. It does. It's your first and it won't be your last. Sure, sure. Uh, I know what it takes to be a part of this. Uh, and, I, and I'm mixed up. But, um, I need you to take these shell cases. My girl works in forensics. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. Talk about Jenny from Forensics. You fucked him, man? <laughs> For real, Brooks, be honest with me. Nah, man. I haven't had the pleasure. I told you she's a part of us also. I told you she's a powerful organization. This is how we all stay safe and do what we want. From the coroner to the forensics to the courts. 
I told you this organization is deeper than that. Wow. She ain't say anything. She wasn't supposed to. Neither was I. I just gave you an insight of what you got yourself into. Get in the car. Let me show you something. Sims. Financial freedom, baby. That is a whole brick. I'm supposed to sell it? H how much is it worth? Technically, yeah. We keep the old evidence. We keep some of the bus drugs. And we put it back on the streets wholesale. We make them sell it. <laughs> What's the profit? We keep half and we give the organization half. Keep the chief happy, me happy, we straight. Copy. So, when do I start making this kind of money? Right now, you're under the microscope. So, just be prepared and follow the chief's orders. Prepare to get a call from Internal Affairs. Copy. I'll get with you later. I gotta get up out of here. Copy. Peter, hey, did you get the call? I'm here at the crime scene. Rocky. Yeah, I got that call too. That's been a murder. A unique one. One that I was a terrorist need answers to. I want to keep quiet. So you think they're terrorists? I'm not sure what to call them. But whoever did it was good. No prints and they wiped the cameras clean. But not from inside the office. Some sort of, uh... Hacking, no trace evidence. Listen, where's the body? I'm not here for no damn hackers. Nah, not for hackers. That dude Tony Z, Mr. Zimmerman. He was killed last night. The sea strangled to death. Skittles were thrown on his body and the icy was left on him. Sort of like resembling the case he beat with the teen kid. Yeah, I heard of that case. Caused riots across the nation. But they can't get mad he was found not guilty though. But the way the killer sound real personal. Did you get in contact with any of the victim family? Brothers, cousins, anything? Friends? I don't think it was any of them. Another case I was informed about the last 48 hours is uh, Carly Bryant, the woman on the Emmett Till case. She was found there too by strangulation. Seems like some sort of pattern. They gotta keep this quiet. They commissioning us as a special task force unit. We gotta meet up with the chief. So the chief of part of this organization? Yeah, and a lot of other powerful people. There's a lot of things you will know and a lot of things you won't. Just follow my lead. They picked you because you're black and you could infiltrate organizations many of us can't. You're in a good position. Just play it right. Hey man, whatever. As long as I'm almost on this side, I'm doing whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna go look around the crime scene a little bit more. I'll catch up with you later. Copy. Over and out. Strides are being made. Okay, Spawn. 
I'm ready. I'm locking into a private server. Nah, nah, it won't be long. I'm creating a cyber worm, so if anyone follows you, it'll lead them somewhere else. Whenever you're ready, we go live. I have you live in 50 states and overseas. Germany, Africa, France, and the Caribbean. Yeah, we're going live in five minutes, visual and audio. Your voice will be disguised the whole time. Time to wake up the world, Ogun. Bring it home for the ancestors. We are live. My Alpha. Grand Rising. Grand Rising to all my black nations across the world. We are facts, freedom, emancipation by any means necessary. In order for us to stop the repetition of tragedies and injustices, we must band together as black nationalists. We must come together as one collective because we have one enemy. We must fight together. We need a revolution. A revolution is complete constructive change. And yes, it's bloody. Oh, yes, it is. They captured, killed, and robbed us of our scientists, our scholars, our mathematicians, our doctors. Freedom is won on a battlefield and not on a ballot floor. They took our freedom by blood and war, and they damn sure won't give it back without it. So right now, any black man is your duty to whoop a cracker ass if they put their hands on a man, a woman, or a child. Our ancestors built this country, and we have every right to burn this shit down. We're not waiting for any white man's agenda for black solutions. This is why we bring in the bullet to the ballot. Freedom of death. Fuck. These bastards. Yes, this is Detective Sim speaking. Yes, I know this is internal affairs. Uh huh, and, and this call is being recorded, yeah. Yes, I remember filling out a police report. No, there was no shell cases at the scene as I put in a report. Yeah, sure, if you guys need me to answer any questions, I'll be sure to. It's no problem. Just let me know. Thank you. Sims, talk to me. Is this line clear, sir? Yes, this line is clear. Internal Affairs just called me. Mm-hmm. I was calling to confirm that everything was going to be taken care of. And I'm a member now. They don't know nothing, so keep the same story that we covered. <laughs> Thank you. Get back to work. You got a quota to make. Yes, sir. The reparation fund is building. We'll be at a hundred billion soon. My offer. Doing an excellent job. Malcolm X and Fred Hampton be proud of us. They dream of days like this. Revolution is the only solution. As they should. I'm the best motherfucking hacker in America. These crackers woke up a motherfucking monster. They did. And I'm this close to accessing the DMV codes. 
to get into politicians and cops addresses. Mm. It's a wrap. You will capture them all, but it's only a matter of time before they come for all activists in pursuit of us. And then we will show them we no longer the prey. We are the predators. Reparations is a must. Reparations is due. I will take these to use as black coin to give out to our members, give out to our family. Money for them to get by, get over with, until the full reparation plan is intact. My alpha. My alpha. March. You early, Virgil. How you doing? How the mayor's wife? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about about that. Listen, we're just co-workers. We're in the same building. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm a judge over 10 years. These guys in these suits will do things that the guys on the corner cannot do to you. To be honest, Marsh, with some strange occurrences around me, weird messages. Actually, I think somebody's following me. You're my mentor. What would you do? You know what you're doing wrong. Them people might know what you're doing wrong too. But you have the power to be the next Adam Clayton Power Jr. But how could you? You're going to be in a scandal. We need men like you. You can rewrite history. I'm listening. Listen, put the Dr. King to the side. I need that inner Malcolm X. You're going to need a gun. You know why? Because I want you to run for mayor. Are you fucking serious? A gun? Are you serious, Marsh? Yes, I'm serious. All the votes is gonna be black, and you're gonna win. Just sleep on it. You can't be serious. I'm fucking his wife. Now you want me to take his job? I'm gonna really need a fucking gun. You're gonna win. All the votes are black. You're gonna win. Okay, Marsh. Thanks for everything. We already know. Oh gun. Deshaun. Oh gun. Grand Rising. Grand, Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Today, we have offender number four. The Ghost Rider, AKA Ella Kennedy, age 33, with a long trail of murders. Black holistic doctors and black professionals, to be exact. All the murders made to look like accidents or suicides, so no police involvement will ever be needed. Antifa leaked photos and videos of her during the crime scenes and times, which makes her the perfect suspect. She is linked to big pharmaceutical CEO, Herman Kennedy, which is her father. Net worth, 200 million. We need to capture her and capture that 200 million for our own reparations fund. But well, we are black mercenaries. How we find a ghost? This bitch is ruthless. <laughs> Call the Ghostbusters, right? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I never encountered a female serial killer. She has to be stopped. It is detrimental to our future, especially if we don't know how she looks. So I'm guessing we need to find this Herman dude and torture him until he talks. But shit, what's the plan? Who gonna be the target? The target will be Haitian scientist Leroy John Pierre, professor of integrated biology at the University of Nevada. He's been embroiled in a huge lawsuit after exposing his company for using the herbicide which turns female frogs into male frogs and which does the same for humans which they may be using he's been receiving death threats daily and the media has been attacking him tomorrow he'll be in New York City for a conference he must do our intel to find him where he will be and protect him at all costs so are we voting? this one is a draw with the ghost riding Herman we need them both alive for us, the Ghost Rider has a list of all hits and who contracted them. And if we get that list, we take them all out in the name of black nationalism. Mayafa. Mayafa. Shit crazy, that fucking bitch got me If I wasn't at work, shit crazy. Frustrated. Yo, I had to get this black bitch locked up. Fuck out of here. Let her know run shit. Wait now she gotta get her daughter back. 
wait, 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 hold on. What are you talking about? What happened? Well, the bitch was sitting on the floor with her daughter. I'm telling her she can't do that. The rules say that. I don't want to get written up. You know that supervisor's strict. But anyway, I guess she was trying to impress her daughter or whatever. But I ended up calling the cops. After a while, let the men handle her. Fuck out of here. Show her who gonna get the last laugh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You called the cops on this mother while she had her child with her? Because she was sitting on the floor? Yeah. Hey, hospital. Yo, you know, you know, Yo, you can't right. even chill, sis. I don't want to fight you. you. She had me tight, I'm telling you. You don't even understand what you just did right now. This mother's here with her child. You got her child dragged away from her by the police? Do you understand what white privilege is? They help each other out. They look out for each other. We don't. You just gave this mother over to the devil. Come on. I, I think I'm so much better of you than that, Mona. Now that you put it that way, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Damn. Damn, I was only coming out here just to tell you I was leaving early, girl, and I need you to cover the rest of the shit. I didn't even want to go through this with you. Look, tomorrow's another day. We'll talk about this later, but we got to do better. Yes. Come on, give me a hug. I'll see you tomorrow. And you're going to have to keep on saying that. Malcolm. Malcolm. Huey. Huey. Bobby. Bobby. Seal. Seal. Police beating our ass every time we come out the house. They're trying to kill us. That's how I feel. It's time to get in the field. How they beating our ass still. Matter of fact, the better question is when we see them beating our brothers, why is we still? Why we ain't moving? Where the riot at? It's 2020, they still stand on the riot act. Sorry, champ, but it's quiet for that. To leave my gun in the house, I ain't buying for that. It's the whole recording. Me and that punk ass cop. Thank you. What's his name? Who do we work for? He go by the name Beck, maybe Burke, some shit like that. That's all I can tell you. You pay me for a recording. Anything else you want to know? Either kick me some extra bread or find out yourself. But what I do know is, that motherfucker dirty. Ain't working for bigger people. Fatal, we don't mix with them pigs. We have a no compromise policy. I don't agree with you doing out here with the youth. This gang violence and all that, everybody dying. Cause I feel like y'all draw a gun on each other, but y'all won't draw a gun on them. And they the enemy. I draw a gun on anybody. The role I'm in, this is what I gotta do to survive. You don't see me wearing fancy jackets, living off grid. I'm outside. Law number 15, crush your enemy totally. So if I gotta use these little niggas or police to stay jail free and untouched, so be it. It is what it is until shit change. Things can always change. Malcolm X wasn't always Malcolm X. I wasn't who I am today always. What I'm trying to tell you is, you have a gift. You have power and influence. And if you use it right, you'll be a millionaire. Police beating our ass every time we come out the house They're trying to kill us, that's how I feel It's time to get in the field How they beating our ass still Matter of fact, the better question is When we see them beating our brothers, why is we still? Why we ain't moving, where the riot at? It's 2020, they still stand on the riot act Sorry champ, but it's quiet for that To leave my gun in the house, I ain't buying for that When we gon' start firing back Word the mother and do to them the same thing that we do to our brothers It's time that we stand the fuck up and stop crying Cause prayer ain't enough to keep black people from dying Nah, get proactive, learn some tactics Find a place to store some gasoline and buy axes Cause once it's on, then it's on The oppressor bought all the bullets, some shits is all gone Hey man, what's up? I'm here at the district attorney's office Good! I need you to pull any violations or offenses for Councilor Graham and Leroy Jean-Pierre. Hey, tell me about your situation. Is your divorce finalized? No disrespect to your choice, but it ain't nothing like black love. Hey. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you're pretty right about it. The marriage was what it was. I fell in love with the man. I didn't fall in love with the color. But he surely did with me. I felt like I was being treated like a trophy wife. So that wasn't going to work for long. You know how I am. You a black queen. Your code name is Ocean. Beauty, love. There's a king out there for you. You know that. 
I appreciate your words. Thank you so much. You know, you're a mentor to me. So everything you say happens. Wait a minute, hold on. I think I see him. You know I can't do that. I've been disbarred. Matter of fact, I'll see what I can do. You do what I tell you to do. And then get anything else that I can use against them. I'll call you later. Alright, cool. We're gonna tell them, and after that, we're gonna take them. Okay. I'm the deputy chairman of the state of Illinois Black Panther Party, Fred Hampton. We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. And you're going to have to keep on saying that. You're going to have to say that I am a proletarian. I am the people. I'm not the pig. You've got to make a distinction. And the people are going to have to attack the pigs. The people are going to have to stand up against the pigs. That's what the Panthers are doing. That's what the Panthers are doing all over the world. Khalil. Remo. Good afternoon, guys. You know what's going on, brother? What's up? Well, y'all was going on. I've been watching y'all well. That's my organization. And we have this to give to you. Organization? Sorry, we don't know about that. Hold on, bro. Damn What I meant to say is, my organization has 20,000 for y'all. We admire what y'all doing for the community and giving back. And we watch and protect y'all. Really? Every Wednesday. Nah, thanks. Thanks for the protection, but we just giving out food every Wednesday with the people. You good. That's the reason why we need protection. Every time black people do for self, economically, they come for us. It's been proven. So I want y'all guys to do to take this. To help yourselves and to keep helping the community. And we'll continue protecting y'all. My name is Ogun. Ogun, like the like the god of war medals from Yoruba? That is correct. Don't you cite the friends with my, my brothers? I have not committed sin. I have not committed robbery or violence. I have not slain men or women. I have not stolen. Yo, bro, that's crazy. You really got somebody watching us. I mean, shit, at least somebody watch us, bro. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. We almost had him. He ran into the district attorney office. Yeah, Moss. Be careful. There's cameras everywhere over there. Yeah, I told you cover the retreat. Because I could use my clearance. It's too risky. Get up out of there. I'm right by the underpass. Ford Chase Metro Tech Center. By the parking area. Hurry. Copy. Cause we 
Marsh, you ready for this? You must put this plan in place. Things will erupt once Councilman Graham becomes mayor and that video of the cop shooting the kid is leaked. I know I'm gone, but I knew this day would come. But it'll leave me no choice. I'm not gonna let my kids suffer because of the color of their skin. I'd rather lay down for them to stand up. We're not laying down no more, Marsh. We laid them down. This go round, we power by our ancestors, all the Orishas. We will not lose, and we cannot lose. The name of Fred Hampton. But right here, you see this? These are two C4 remote detonated bombs. You take these inside the courthouse, and you place them on both sides of the building. Because once this video leaks, it's going to erupt. Police gonna want revenge. They're gonna beat black people ass, shoot more black people. And when they try that, we got a plan for the guys. We gonna blow the fucking court buildings. And we write history. Here you go. That's good. They wouldn't check me because I'm a judge. I'm about to walk in the courthouse with pounds of C4. It's gonna make history like none other. Side. Yo, this location, we have three precincts, the 88th, the 81st, and the 79th. From Clinton Hill to best to Bushwick. I need the exact metrics. Add them and then divide them by three. The first precinct is 160 meters east of the 81st. The second one is 120 west of the 79th. If we found common ground, we would be good. But we need to elevate a little bit higher to catch the last one. What's the plan anyway? Well, I'm going to place all the explosives with my re remote detonator and all the priests in the city. And when phase two hit, that's how we're going to weaken their first line of defense. And if they priests is down, how could they mobilize and they'll be at a huge disadvantage? That's what I'm talking about. Fucking around, I'm gonna catch me running up here. But every day, taking every day. You might see me patrolling in one of these joints. That's how it should be, that's how it will be. A few shotguns and rifles, new sheriff from town. Listen, we gonna loot all precincts of their guns and gears. Burn them shits down to the ground and plan our attack for the National Guards. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Retaliation at all max. Gotta beat them at their own game. They kill us, we kill them. My alpha. We fold. I ain't folding nothing but clothes. Got the same energy for the cops as for my foes. They gon' have to black my eye, bloody my nose. Tell them I say go and get the dog and turn on the hose. They gon' have to wash me up and lock me up. At least I died for sight when they box me up. It's time to start doing some shit just out of spite. Look at what they doing to us in plain sight. This is our block. You don't belong here. Why can't we congregate and play a song here? Officer, we ain't doing nothing wrong here. It'd be different if we were screaming. Sean, did you find the location? It's imperative that we find one for phase two. I will have the explosives very soon. Yeah, but scouting, I found the location. The middle ground is perfect to disappear, but only if I could get my hands on the RFID, I could rig it to detonate at least five at once. Mm. I'm working on acquiring a few, but once we do, we will place explosives on all law enforcement buildings. One police plaza, police headquarters, the federal building, and all emergency services units. We will disable all their defenses. Them explosives might take out a lot of officers, but what about the people in the holding cell and the black cops? Hmm. Well, we will strike around 11.30, the last central bookings run. Our network will send out a message to all black and Latino officers to stand down. If they choose to not stand down, they will be met with fire and death or destruction because it's not their fight. We are coming for our RICO conspiracy against all of them. And Deshaun, I don't ever want you to think of yourself as evil for what we are doing. We have to exterminate evil for us to live better. This is a necessary justice. Yes, it is necessary because since it started, it hasn't stopped. There's no way in 2022 we still going through the things of the 1800. But do you think what we did made the news? And what should I do in the meantime? I hope it makes the news. 
to send a message to all officers. You kill one of us unjustly, we will kill you. We will hunt you. But right now, I doubt it. They don't know who, what, where, and why is striking. They're currently probably putting together a task force, some of the best agents around, to find out who's doing it. So, assume your regular job. I'll send you 40,000 cash and black coin you cash out. Do whatever you want to do. I remember the oath. Secrecy and silence and always move like you're being watched. Exactly. The United States has a CIA. The Israelis has the Mossad. Russia has the Kremlin. And now black folks have us. When you're here, fair, I see you in and out often. This four M's, this one building, you know that, right? Law number three, conceal your intentions. Keep your intentions obscure. Your eyes tell your thoughts. And I see right through them glasses and what you're thinking. The feeling is mutual. I done killed tougher people than you. A law in this block is all I need. Besides, I don't like you or what you stand for. You keep promoting genocide. We're supposed to build up our people, not destroy it. Listen, I don't want to hear all that fake positive shit you talk You do the same shit I do. You ain't no different. Just don't let it touch or come off my plate. If I can send your ass to Allah quicker. I'm raising the future gangsters. I'm raising the future providers. The future street soldiers. What do you have to offer them? A brick and a bean pie? Because you pray? You know better than me. Another nigga claiming this is building. When night your own food. You can recite all the 48 laws of power you want. Just know. These kids keep killing each other, I'm gonna step in. Once the head drops, the body follows. It's how I'm living, brother. We good or we got a problem here? We got whatever you want. Nah, we good, man. I was just talking to the brother, man. Yo, I'm gonna head up. I'll be right back down. Alright. What's the beef, brother? It's no beef. It's all business. Anybody gotta have their time to rock out, though. The monster in me ain't sleep, but there's money on the plate for everybody. Not off my plate, but I'm gonna see y'all around. Bring your big pot next time I see you. Though. Very funny, don't take my comments for a weakness. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Well, what's up with the brother? Not one of the little gang leaders out here, man. He don't want to sell in this building. I told him to stop the genocide, or I'm gonna stop him. He got these little kids out here doing all the shooting in the four M. It's too much police attention, and I'm tired of the youth dying. I can holler at Hussein if you want, and I get him knocked off. He'll do it, no questions asked. All praise is due. Let's get up out of here. We try to play a song here. Officer, we ain't doing nothing wrong here. It'd be different if we were screaming out your love here. But we not, so we gotta remain calm here. Cause a bullet on Rikers Island is a long year. For a large arm barrier, it's a long tear. They hunting us down like we really did something wrong here. What we gonna do about it? What we gonna march and pray? Or we gonna hunger? Assalamu alaikum, Junaid. Malik Allah Salaam. Hussein, something big is going down. You may need some muscle. This could be a good time for you to prove yourself to Shabazz. Shukran. But right now is not a good time, Junaid. I have to go meet with my family. My uncle of mine became gravely ill. I'm sorry to hear that. You know his family before business. We can do it another time, inshallah. Okay, Salamu alaikum. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. How's the business? Good. Did you relay my message to the other owners? Liberation is beyond the horizon. Yeah, listen, man, I relayed the message, but you know how motherfuckers is, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to get black people together. You know, it's like talking like, they act like they talk to like a bill collector or some shit. <laughs> but yo, look, here go a list of things that I need. 
cool. I like this. I'm gonna pass this to the accountant. We need a coalition to open up a bigger market, man. Yo, listen, check this out. Let me show you my business. Come on, let me show you. Right here, we got about the bomb. Uh -huh. Right here is the volume cutter. That's nice. Then right here, we got the embroidery machine. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything I need. That's good. But here goes some cards. It's $10,000 to advance themselves. Okay. If they use black coin, they get the shit by the lowest rate with no taxes needed. Uh, listen, if this work like you say it does, I have 20 to 30 black owned businesses. Word. That's what I like to hear. We go in black, we come back out black. Oh man. But I'm gonna pass out a few myself, and I'll contact you later, man. Let me know. Peace. I got you. Peace. Sir. Officer Rakim, how you doing? All right, good afternoon, sir. What does the fucking mayor want now, Officer Rakim? Don't you know we're having a long, bad day? We're having cops going after cops. We got gangbangers, shooting gangbangers. My day can get any worse? It's definitely been an interesting day. That's the main reason why he sent us. Him and the other guys from the organization commissioned us to be able to do a special task force. I don't need a special task force. Who's going to pay for it? And at the moment, I don't even have my other phone on me. It's a little more complicated than that, sir. We have insensitive details on the crimes. Two murders by strangulation. The two victims were a part of civil rights crimes with the 24 to 48 hours of each other. Carlene Bryant from the Emmett Till case and Tony Zimmerman. And the organization says that if this gets out and starts to uprising, and plus especially they don't know who did it and whoever's responsible for it might come for them and come for you. Well, look, this organization has been around for many years, and it's an honor to be part of it, so to protect it, you're going to need all my resources, and you can have them. Definitely going to need all resources. Look under the bench. Um, guns and some drugs. All right, well, let me get to work, and uh, you can hold on to the photos so you can get in more detail. And you get back to work and have a rest of the nice day, yo. Appreciate you, sir. I think somebody's trying to follow me. I don't know who it is. Now I'm just giving you a heads up. Yeah, I gotta get it. Okay. Alright. James. Oh, excuse me. Mayor James Spencer. Um, I don't have time for your humor today. You have obligations you haven't fulfilled. Yeah, look, that's what I have to meet with you about. Today isn't good. I'm booked. Listen, it's imperative that you meet with me. We may have some resistance. My sources inform me that your job might be in jeopardy, and if your job's in jeopardy, our money's in jeopardy. Okay, you convinced me. Meet at our location. I only have 10 minutes. Just be there. I'm listening, Spawn. Yeah, man, we, we got to protect him. Protect the ballot time? You got a set of balls on him, though. We on it. Hey, yo, Kruger. What's going on, bro? I'm not really used to all of this off-grid, out-in-plain-sight shit, bro. What's up? Yo, Spoon put me on. He said it was a gun-to-gun -gun standoff for two cops. The black cop popped on the other one, man. What? A white cop? Nah, he was Asian, bro. Man, same shit. They all against us for the same reasons. What's the verdict, though? No detail. We gotta locate both cops and monitor their movements to make sure everything is official. We're not trying to take a loss or anybody on our watch. Listen, I'm all in, regardless. 
Just let me pop that Asian cop if it comes down to it. Come on, let's rock. Say less. I know you were informed by my actions today, but I can explain. Just don't believe everything the TV shows. Damn it, Valentine, there's a video of you all over the TV. You attacking a fellow white officer. That doesn't look good. Do you know what type of message I sent here? Do you know your value? Look, Chief, I know it looks real bad. Real bad. But the reason why I reacted in that manner is what they wrote on that police officer report is not what happened. As I approached the scene, a female patron accosted me and showed me the video, showing otherwise what Officer Sims had informed me. Seeing Sims shoot that guy drove me crazy and I lost it. Even what you say, what you saw is true. It's a cop standing over a thug. And we all know how Lamel is a piece of shit. And to suggest my cops are quick will not be in your best interest. Yes, I can back it up. Here's the phone with the video. I think the internal affairs need to see this, sir. Have you shown it to anyone? No, I haven't. Take the phone with the video. I haven't shown it to anybody. I will take a look at it shortly and, you know, then put it in evidence box. But for at this moment, I need your badge and gun. You serious? You are firing me, sir? I thought I was helping with this case. You serious? It's coming from a higher authority. Um, I can't do nothing for you now, but you're not fired. You're just going to be suspended for a week without pay. I get it. It could have been worse, but please watch the video. I will. You're dismissed, Mr. Beck. You got black people, you got black Christmas, you got black brown all day, you got black people who ain't here for nobody but black businessmen. And I say that anybody that comes into our community and says an any type of situation that does not meet the need of the masses, then I, Chairman President of the Black Panther Party, says that I catch that nigga by his collar neck and beat him to death with a Black Panther paper. We're not going to. Tweedledum, get out of the car and go get a personality, would you? I'm here, Herman. What's the urgency? Well, my intel is informing me that we might have a problem. The councilman is planning to run for mayor in the next election cycle. Councilman Graham, indeed. My people tell me he'll be the biggest resistance. His policies and his grants have all been against our views. This is why you must take him out. Yeah, well, that's not a problem, as I stated. And you need to do what I tell you, not to worry. In the meantime, open up a budget item to increase the juvenile facilities. Shane has a sweet million-dollar deal for us. You make sure your daughter is going to do what she's supposed to do. I'll contact the chief and we'll set the tone for the police force. All right, I've got to go. Okay, well, got a little something for you and your wife. Well, in the meantime, James, uh, I'd like you to replace the commissioner of inspections and buildings. My pharmaceutical friends want to buy up the rest of Brooklyn. It went from garbage to gold, and <laughs> we really like gold. Okay, Herman, no problem. Hello? 
Councilman Graham speaking. Two o'clock is good tomorrow. I'm booked all day. Yeah, I'm a council member. I fired my assistant. Listen, check your television out tomorrow. I'm gonna make history. I'm giving out the biggest black contract to the Black Construction Workers Union. Yeah, history. 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Gans Ball. All right, Councilman Graham, I'm checking out. Okay, you sure these are last known addresses? I surveillance all three locations. I'm at the last one. And I've been out here for hours and there's no sighting of her. Yeah, Deshaun. These are the last known addresses we have. Let's keep a lookout. I think this is where she might be. I'm on Lake Amat, on Lake Allah Salon. Junaid, I said you had some issues over the phone. Elaborate. Some dude named Fatal, he tried to push up on Shabazz earlier for getting money in the building. He got a lot of shooters too, so he may need some muscle. And it's a good opportunity for you to prove yourself. Hmm. Fatal, huh? Yeah. I know that guy. I don't know him like that though, seen him passing through the mountains. Listen, I don't have no problem with taking anybody out, but if I do this, I got to be heavily involved with the clan. Truth spoken, what do you mean? I mean, the Empire. I know you and Shabazz, you know, y'all have your thing going. And I'm connected with all the top drug people. I can show you how to jack one brick to three. Just with a little fentanyl. 50K profit. I ain't trying to harm the people. What's this fentanyl you speak of? Fentanyl is not that bad. It's just cut. It won't really hurt people. But it'll bring back a whole lot of money. And I'll break you off for the task. We at war with police and ourselves. That sounds like a lot of cash. Yeah, listen, drugs is always gonna sell. So let's just get ours. Matter of fact, you don't even have to tell Shabazz at first. You could get money with me, you could get money on the side, then after that, you could present it to him later. We got a deal? Hey Mona, it's Charlotte. How are you? Good, good. I'm well. I was just calling to see if you were going to be able to meet up with me today for our appointment. Yep. I'm right over here on Riverdale and Thafford. Alright, no problem. I'll see you when you get here.
Might as well fill it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Oh, yeah. Back yeah, three in the back, not this tab, not this other. Mona, correct? Yes, hello. Hi, Charlotte. I'm Rayvon's sister. I've been speaking with you over the phone. Mm -hmm. What's going on with my brother's case? Because he thinks he's never getting out. Listen, Mona, that's not the case. It may seem that way, but my organization, we specialize in cases like these and we've had success. Can you explain to me? What's going on with the case? Well, to be honest with you, Rayvon was arrested under the accomplice The prosecutors do not want to let him go because it sets precedence that inmates under the accomplice law will be freed. I got Rayvon's case overturned, but they appealed that. So that's really what's holding him up. So you with uh, prison reform. Isn't that what prison reform does? No, I'm not with prison reform. I work for a pro-black organization, and we specialize in cases like this. Prison reform is when they come back 20 years later with an appeal to get you free. They need people in place to make sure that that error doesn't happen again. I told my brother you was going to do the best job possible. Trust me, Rayvon is going to be home soon. Don't worry about that. Thank you. Listen, this service is to no cost you. It is nothing like having our people free on the oppressor's money. So don't worry about it. We'll be in touch. Yes, thank you so much. I can't wait. Citations, Chief. We have a problem, Sims. Problem? What? Did uh, IAB call back? There's a video of the shooting, and it doesn't look good. I need for you to cover it, and I'm gonna cover it myself. Of course, I won't say anything. But we have a bigger issue, though. Okay? This, which can lead to riots, looting, and Black Lives Matter. I need for you to take Valentine out and that girl that recorded that video. Otherwise, it's gonna be a lifelong sentence. You want it in, you're in. I will. Just give me the info. Okay, you're dismissed. Your name. This is me, Chief Haskins. Valentine gotta go, and I mean now he has to go. He has to go. Oh shit! Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, man? You Come on, it ain't gotta be like this. You should've kept your mouth shows, man. Yo, it don't have to be like this. Just took the video, man. Come on. Yo, it don't gotta be like this, you man. You know too much, man. You should've threw away the video, man. You should've gave up the video, bro. Why you ain't give up the video? Yo, come on, it don't gotta be like this, man. It don't gotta be like this. It don't have to be like this. The video, man. My alpha. Yo, come on. Come on. Shooting, Malcolm, bullet or the ballot, or 
Khaled Bullet on the bullet what? Only one ring freedom when you pull it They make you think hope is in the vote For, for a system already made broke So time I feel back then in this black skin I think of Bobby Seale, old gun back then For this black skin I let him 20 Mac 10s Take me back, I make Edgar Hoover eat the Mac I'm the Messiah that they thought was never coming back Democrat, Republican, that's absurd Left wing, right wing, same bird The lesser of two evils, that's your word How you wanna get killed, shot or burn? That's all that mean, we ain't got no voice It's a democracy, but we ain't got no choice Slavery still here, 13th Amendment AK to the center, Betty Victor It's a new regime, with ancestral souls They won't stop the freedom ring, and the devil's gone It's a new regime, with ancestral souls They won't stop the freedom ring, and the devil's gone The blood of Malcolm in my veins Cause of Cali, my homeless wild thing Uh, Gaddafi's playing chess with him But the crackers made Obama get the best of him The second coming to Garvey Kill anybody that harm thee We coming for our respect, nigga I'm Nat Turner with a tech, nigga AK in the Louis V Black and powerful like Huey P For 100 years we had to put up with this We coming for our necessary justice uh, it's the bullet to the ballot I think Clotilde my people famished That cool created the people that was savage Created a hate of people above average We are black, we are born gods We defy odds, first to study stars They created laws to put us behind bars Seventy cent a day to make thousand dollar cars the shit stops here now We ain't march, we shoot in for Mike Brown But Rihanna beat Kim in with the llama So I'd be in the side of black mamas Massive cars was tailored by designer Architects of terror live upon us The Malcolm said it's an eye for an eye The, the, the revolution shall be televised Black nationalist faces in disguise Rushing the capital, bringing racists out to die Not on one front, but all fronts my, my, my yacht will get the job done First cars convened when we were slaves It was a meeting to keep us this way uh, So die for the cause, nigga but, but, but die being the cause, nigga The blood of Malcolm in my veins Cause of Cali, my homeless wild thing uh, Gaddafi's playing chess with him But the crackers made Obama get the best of him The second coming to Garvey Kill anybody that harmed thee we coming for our respect, nigga. I'm Nat Turner with a tech, nigga. AK in the Louis V. Black and powerful like Huey P. For 100 years, we had to put up with this. We coming for our necessary justice. That won't stop the free to win And the devil's gone The blood of Malcolm in my veins Cause of Cali, my homeless wild thing uh, Gaddafi's playing chess with him But the crackers made Obama get the best of him The second coming to Garvey Kill anybody that harm thee We coming for our respect, nigga I'm Nat Turner with a tech, nigga AK in the Louis V Black and powerful like Huey P for 100 years we had to put up with this We coming for our necessary justice 
Uh, it's the bullet to the ballot. I think Clotilde, my people famished. That cool created people that was savage. Created hate of people above average. We are black. We are born gods, we defy odds, work first to study stars right. They created laws to put us behind bars Seth needs in the day to make thousand dollar cars The shit stops here now yeah. We ain't march, we shoot in for Mike Brown But Rihanna be Kimmy with the llama So I to be in the side of black mamas right. Massive cars was tailored by designer Sana. Architects of terror live upon us The Malcolm said is an eye for an eye The, the, the eye. revolution shall be Black nationalist faces in disguise Pushing the capital, bring the racists out to die Not on one front, but all fronts My, my, my y'all will get the job done First college to be when we were slaves It was a meeting to keep us this way uh, So die for the cause, nigga But, but, but die being the cause, nigga The blood of Malcolm in my veins Cause of Cali Muhammad's wife, bang uh, the doctors play chess with them, but the crackers made a